So guys, welcome back to another one and yeah, you already read the title, you already seen the thumbnail so let's get straight into it and guys you can already see it, today we are back in PvP of course and this time we are using Tor. I know it has been a while but honestly I've been playing Grand Cross and I still have to say, I think this Tor is still the best character in the game. That's not even a joke. I know Demiurge is still really, really, really insane. But like Tor is just tremendously insane, right? Like she is a anniversary type character. Keep in mind, uh, Demiurge was a collab character. But like for anniversary type characters, Tor was insane. She could literally one shot almost everyone. And I thought, you know what? Let's actually try her once again in this unknown team. And let's just see if she still holds up. So yeah, with that being said guys guys if you like this sort of content of course consider liking consider subscribing it really helps out the channel and it honestly makes my day and with that being said guys i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day if you are gonna summon on the camilla banner i wish the best of luck and with that being said let's get on to our first match here of course with our tour once again okay so for our first match we are up against a seven at least team we do out cc with quite a bit of a, a cc so that is pretty huge um honestly something tells me he's using dodge food so what i'm gonna do here is just a single target attack is he using red tarmia link here he is you know what i, I think we can maybe take down the meliodas who knows but let's actually uh upgrade or demiurge and do a level 2 aoe and i think that should be enough oh he's not using dodge food wait a minute wait a minute okay 102k damage not too bad at all then of course the level 2 aoe from our demi urge it would be huge if we can take down the dk melee there come on demi urge come on oh he's unfortunately still alive but yeah that's a lot of damage like in general okay that's fine that's that guys i swear this <laughs> This, this had to be like a uh, a Demiurge video, man. <laughs> what is this look on these cards? That's insane. Um, okay, that's fine. We can uh, we can tank that. He's gonna attack. He's actually gonna AOE. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. If my uh, if my Tor stays alive, that's totally fine. Yeah. Okay. He's going on the Goater. Go Goater can take that, man. He's Goater Goats. It's literally in his name. Okay. So what we are gonna do is double rank up or. Yeah, that's what we are going to do. Double rank up our tour. And then the level 3 is going to go... You know what? Let's let's just do a level 3 on the DK melee. How much damage is that going to be? Let, let's actually wait and see. Okay, rank up once. Rank up again. Level 3 single target attack with the tour. And we also have a level 3 for the next turn. Yeah, okay. That is <laughs> Aftershock? Is there going to be aftershock damage? Ooh, unfortunate. Okay, that's fine though. That, that was like 400k damage. That is still really, really, really insane. Okay, so I think we just do a level 3 Demi Urge on the, on the Goater and then like a, another level 3 on maybe like the Escanor. Yeah, I think the Escanor one is the best. And then maybe a like level 1 with Ortora. I think that should be fine. Is he gonna cleanse his Escanor? Hopefully, yeah, he's he's gonna cleanse Escanor. Okay, that's fine, man. That's fine. Like I said, I still think uh, or Tor is the best character in the game, so she can take it, man. Don't even worry about it. We don't need a rank up, so it is totally fine if our Goater doesn't make it. Um, he just goes. Okay, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Her ability will let her live, right? Her ability will let her live. Okay, that's huge. Yeah. Okay, that's huge. Um. Level 3 on the, level three on the Escanor. I'm sorry, Escanor has to be gone. I think this should be enough. And then let's just do another level 3 on the Goater. Okay, come on. Yeah, look at that. Look at the damage, though. Look at the damage. She literally, like, one-tapped that Escanor right there. And Aftershock damage. <laughs> Eat on it, K. That is insane. Okay, so, like I said, man, I still think she's the best. So let's get on to our second match of today with, uh, with of course, our Tor here. Okay, so for our second match of today, we are up against another... Seven? Yeah, okay, that's another seven at least since team. I don't know, man. I had like an error in my brain. It's fine. It's fine. I swear. I promise it's fine. Okay, so I don't know. I think he's using Dodge. So what I'm going to do is like actually double rank up or Demi Urge. We have the level three. We have the level three. Are we going to use it? I really want to. I, you know what? Let's let's just go for it. Let's just go. I'm gonna trust in humanity once again. I know, I know, I know. I do that a lot, but no way he's using dodge food, right? Ain't no way he's using dodge food, right? Come on, level three demiurge. 
Come on, level 3 that me Nice! Okay, he wasn't using dodge. There goes the goater! <laughs> 500k damage, that's insane. Um, yeah, also, in the first match, it was pretty insane, like, the final damage with Aura, with Aura Tor, like, 800 or, like, 900k. That's just, that's, that's insanity. That's actually insanity. Also, if you guys don't know, um, there is gonna be an Overlord, not a collab, not, 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 not another one, not another one, but there is gonna be a mobile game about uh, Overlords. I just don't know yet how it's gonna play out. So maybe in the future, because it comes out in like two months or so, so maybe I'm gonna make, uh, make maybe a, like a second channel for that, who knows? But yeah, it is, it is pretty goaded. I think the game is going to be pretty good. Okay, so what we are going to do here is, of course, a level 2, then a level 1, and right after that, level 3 on that Ascanor. I think that should be enough. Let's see. Ooh, Tor. Tor, come on. Come on, Dan. Okay, 150k damage. Um, no after effect, though. That's unfortunate. But she does focus the Ascanor. And the level 3. How much is the level 3 damage going to do? 300k damage? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Okay, yeah, we already won this. You, we essentially already won this. Bon is his only character left, and he's gonna go for Goatser. Like I said, he's gonna survive. One HP doesn't even matter. Red Tarmia Link right there, baby. Red Tarmia Link, you'll have to see it. Okay, level one. We are heavily attack lowered though, so that's unfortunate about that, but we should be fine. Yeah, we should be fine. Look at that, she literally one-tapped him. She literally one-tapped him, damn. Okay, with that being said, let's get on to Ortord. And our final match, of course, with, of course, Ortord. Okay, so for Ortord and our last match of today, we are up against another unknown team, actually. That is pretty interesting, because he's using a Albedo, a Queen Hell, and, of course, a Fitoria. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, still, Fitoria is really insane. Unfortunately, I don't have her on my GP account. That is really unfortunate. But I do have her, uh, I am actually not gonna AoE, never mind. We are gonna do this, this, and then do the level 2 on that Albedo. I think that's the best play. I, I Even maybe maybe he's using the Archwood, who knows. But yeah, uh, Fitoria, still pretty insane. Unfortunately, like I said, I don't have her. He's not, not using the Archwood, that's surprising. Yeah, I don't really have her on my GP account. That's like the only thing I kind of regret. But also... If I had summoned on that Victoria, I wouldn't have Ascanor, I think. I think that was Ascanor, I don't know for sure, but yeah, it is fine. It is fine. Maybe, maybe she will come back. Maybe, maybe like a rerun of the rerun. Who knows? Who knows? I don't think so, because like I was a huge fan of Rising of the Shield Hero first season. And then like I, I think that it was like the second season or yeah, it was like the... Not the final season, but like the last season that has come out. It was just straight up garbage. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Uh, but it, it, it wasn't good. It, it just wasn't good. Okay, so with that being said, enough shitting on uh, on uh, Rising of the Shield Hero. We take down the Albedo, of course. 180,000 damage. And can we take care of that Queen Hell? Yeah, we do. We actually do. And we, okay, of, of course she focused the Victoria. <laughs> of course she focused it. It's fine, man, it's fine, it's whatever. There goes the Victoria. there goes the Queen Hell. The Aftershock, like I said, it is insane. <laughs> I like how she still outperforms teams. Like, you don't always see that, and that's just huge. So yeah, with that being said, guys, Thor, still the number one character, the go-to, you already know. So with that being said, I will see you guys tomorrow. So of course, have an awesome rest of your day, and bye-bye.